Seven News Time, 733. Good morning to you. And David White is here from New York Sea Grant to talk about a, uh, well, to a, kind of a, a guide that has been uh, produced and, and it's to help people out with the St. Lawrence Valley. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good, morning. Good to see you both. Good to see you. Uh, this is something that's new. It is brand new. Hot 48 off the pages. Presses. Yes, it is. What exactly is it? You can show it right to uh, our camera over here. Show it to here. this camera right sure. over here. Yes, we'll go with that one. This is the, uh, the St. Lawrence River Valley Guide. It's mm -hmm. a new publication that has uh, just come oh, out. Actually, he just got to there it. Go. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There, there we, we go. go. We're going to go that direction. Okay. Uh, it's the St. Lawrence River Valley Guide. It's a new publication that we did in partnership with the Water Quality Coordinating Committees in both Jefferson and St. Lawrence County. And all the local agencies involved there, Cornell Cooperative Extension, Soil and Water Conservation District. Um, and the guidebook really is a, a tabletop piece for municipal planners, um, landowners, and others to give them some good just basic background on the St. Lawrence River Valley, its history, uh, its geology. We're going to talk about the wetlands in it, uh, the different flora and fauna along the area, uh, recreational opportunities, and it, it really can give the, the reader just a quick overview of what are the resources up along the St. Lawrence River specifically, so that when they're thinking about new development uh, or they want to take advantage of some of the resources or help protect them, what's the base there? What are the different land uses that are up there? What are the tourism opportunities that are there? So for somebody that's stepping into a new municipal elected leader position, possibly, mm -hmm. uh, coming new to the area, into the planning, and trying to really help the communities grow and develop, it gives them a real baseline. Uh, it's been done in other lake areas around the state, and this was an opportunity to really work with some of the uh, the local groups up here that just really needed a, a here it is in a real nutshell. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the information in this idea. publication comes from publications both United States and Canada, um, you know, that, you know, if you put them on a desktop, they're going to be about this big, and right. what we wanted to do yeah. is say, here's some of the basic information. Here's the wetlands, here's the river system, here's the, the depth, the islands. Kind of a summary of all of it. Real summary, almost in a couple pages, and then if they want more information, they can go to that in-depth publication. So, uh, the, the staff person that did us for us, Molly Thompson, did a superb job with the, the graphic designer. So really a nice piece of information to lay it out for folks as to what we have there. And you said other communities have done this, uh, lake areas uh, up and down the Great Lakes. How has it worked? Uh, fabulous. Uh, you know, a lot of them have done it either by notebook or the lake book. Um, and, and this is that, that teaser piece. Uh, we're now working, uh, actually doing one for Lake Ontario, um, similar vein. And they've become very popular with folks just to have that resource at their hand. They can open it and go, oh, okay, I have a better feeling. You know, the, the page you're looking at right now has got mm -hmm. all of the, the watershed in it, all the rivers that are coming in. So if you're talking about, you know, river management. Where can you get these? Um, these are available from the Soil and Water Conservation Districts in both Jefferson and St. Lawrence County. Uh, Save the River has a supply right up on the river. And obviously by contacting our office, um, either via email, the web, or our phone, you can get a copy of it for folks that are up along here along mm -hmm. the river. It's very it shows nice. the uh, sea level of going along from the river all the way over to Lake Superior and stuff. Just a lot of information in here. A lot, a lot of really good at. information to give people that holistic approach to the St. Lawrence River Valley from, from a little bit different perspective, both the environment, the ecology, and the, uh, and the economy of the river. So kind of putting the three E's together for mm -hmm. folks to very quickly go, okay, here's how the three E's interrelate. And if we're worried about enhancing the economic development, we've got to look at the environment. Got to look at the ecology, how can we move it forward? So the three E's kind of come together, and this is that kind of primer piece, if you will, to give folks the information they need to put it together. All right. It's David great. White, thanks for coming in. Always great Thank to see you. you guys. Thanks for Good bringing me a copy. Uh, back here in a couple of <laughs> months, I'm kidding. We're Happy back. birthday, belated. <laughs> there you go. <laughs>